Hey guys, Ramesh here. Welcome back to React Hooks Spring Boot Crude Full Stack Application Series. In previous video, we have created Create Employee REST API. In this video, we are going to create a React functional component called Add Employee functional component. And we are going to add a button over here that is Add Employee button. So once user click on Add Employee button, it should navigate to Add Employee page. So let's head over to, head over to VS Code ID and go to components folder within a components folder we are going to create a file let's call it as add employee component give extension dot js and again we are going to use react snippet here just type the command react arrow function component export all right great and here i'm just going to add some header here something like add employee component called something like this so here we just wanted to make sure that whether this component will render or not okay so in this video just we will uh, create this component and we create a route for this component and we create a button to call this component in next video we are going to design add employee form so once we create add employee component then go to list employee component and in h2 header just after h2 header we are going to add a button so let's use a react inbuilt element that is link so link internally uses hyperlink it has a two attribute we can use a two attribute to define the link here add employee okay and uh, let's add a css class okay button and then button let's say primary okay and bottom margin let's say two okay and then let's give name to this link or button that is add employee great so link internal uses hyperlink and we are using bootstrap css class to make this hyperlink as a button so this should looks like a button now now what we will do we will configure route for this url so go to app.js file okay and here let's use again a route and then path and just paste add employee so make sure that you prefix slash and then component so after calling this url which component should render here add employee component perfect let me close this great so what we have done we have created add employee component and then we have added a button in list employee component and we have created a route for add employee component perfect now save all the files and go back to browser and just refresh and just click on add employee button and there we go we can able to navigate to add employee component in next video we are going to design add employee form all right i will see you in next video